Hello fellow adventurers, welcome to my YouTube channel Travel with Brittany. I'm Brittany and today we will be spending the day at Devon House in Kingston, Jamaica. Let's go. You won't be limited when it comes to food options at Devon House from the famous bad dog, hot dog, that is only $400 that you can get everything. Oh, he is? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. <laughs> what do you mean? One bad One bad Okay. Okay, now what was I saying? All right, if those guys ever become famous, remember I discovered them first. But what I was saying is that food options at Devon House are not limited from the bad dog, hot dog. That is $400 that you can get all the toppings on. And it's really good. The only thing is, if you do not eat pork, this is not for you as it's 100% pork. However, not to worry, you will have other options available at Devon House. But as a pork lover, I definitely had to get a hot dog. If honestly, I would have had two if I could, but I was so full already, I could just eat one. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> Let's take a look at the other food options you have available as soon as you enter Devon House. You have top bar, you also have popcorn, and bad dog is also at the front entrance. There's also a crepe station called Crepe House with Jamaican options on it. So I was really excited to see what that was all about as I've never had a crepe before. Okay, nice. I came to Jamaica 14 years ago. Oh, I heard a Jamaican accent. Kind of strong. My home. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, and I see you have um, Jamaican items on the menu. So I see you have Akian Sawfish and Oxtail. Uh, well, this was like a one of the conditions for Devon House because they do really want um, it to become like a gastronomical center with a different cuisine from around the world. But you should have something Jamaican should be on the menu. So we make a little Jamaican fusion. Okay. I think Jamaican people love crepes because it's done right in front of your eyes. Mm -hmm. Because many Jamaicans like a little bit suspicious when it comes to their food, right? Right, right. <laughs> so they love the open kitchen concept, so you see exactly what's going in there, you see how right. clean the place is. So, yeah. what's the best selling crepe? The best selling crepe is smoked marlin, definitely. Mm -hmm. And um, Nutella, ricotta, and strawberries. Okay. Uh, a lot of tourists, when they come here, they ask for the Akian saltfish or the oxtail. Or the curious? You know, mostly Jamaicans. Oh, really? Yeah, mostly Jamaicans. Not really tourists. Oh. Like tourists more than ask for Nutella banana and something really basic or chicken and cheese. Oh, okay. Because they simply don't know what it is. What it is. Yeah. Right. Um, Chepper is a Russian traditional drink. The um, Russian scientists got a Nobel Prize for health for... benefits of digestion problems like ulcer, indigestion, looking gut and so on. It's best to drink it by itself. When I came to Devonos, I had no idea or expectation of meeting Julia, but she's really nice and she's literally at the front. So check her out when you are coming. And she was the one who brought Kelfo, Keflo to Jamaica. So that's pretty interesting. So my first time tasting a crepe, and I liked it, as you can see. Thank you so much for coming. And guys, please subscribe to Travel with Brittany.
we're off to explore some more Niamings at Devon House. But for those who are living abroad, who are Jamaican, who have been to Devon House before, I know you must be saying, what place is this? Where is this? But Devon House was recently renovated. So that is why it looks different. And I, at first I was against the new look, I won't lie. But I am feeling it now. I'm feeling it. Let me just explain. I was against the new look because going to Devon House just brought back a sense of nostalgia for me coming here as a child. This area dedicated to George Tabell was recently added along with the statue and the goal part reads, The Honorable George Tabell, 1820 to 1896, the first black Jamaican millionaire, acquired 99 properties island-wide and built Devon House in 1881. No Jamaican gastronomic experience can be completed without our famous jerk chicken because like we are known for that. So we have jerk box and they have a wide array of options from jerk chicken. They have seafood options. They also have soup. So you can definitely go and check them out. They also have different sites such as festival and bami to go with your meal along with drinks such as red stripe and appleton so there are two ways to enter jerk box and one of which is from the lawn area near the kiddies play area and it's an outside eating experience that i found really enjoyable outside was really nice and cozy you heard the kids laughing you saw people walking it's not too loud however it was just a really chill atmosphere i really appreciated that As a pork lover, you know, I had to get a jerk pork. And with the jerk pork, you do get festival for the 1,300. However, you only got two festivals. So I added one more and that was 1,400. All sort of food options like pizza. And I've never been here before. It's called Pizzeria. So tell me in the comments below if you have been and how was your experience there. So we are off. And now we're heading to a tea shop Julia actually told me about that I definitely had to try out. So we're walking towards there. And while you're walking, if you're a tourist or anyone who just wants to take a little souvenir from your stop at Devon House, you have a variety of options and their clothing, their handbags, their souvenirs such as key rings. Just keep in mind that these places close a bit early. So I'd suggest reaching before 6 or 7 o'clock as it will be closed. I'll definitely say 6 o'clock. I believe this was around 7 and it was closed even though that says 10. Now we are here at Lemon Grass. I didn't even know this was here. So big up Julia for telling me about Lemon Grass. And just look on this beautiful entrance. Like you're greeted with so much spices trust me when you open the door the scents hit you like they hit you full on and it's not bad smells it's like all great amazing spices coffee um different herbs that i don't even know you can just smell them the pastries it's just a delight of everything your sensory overload and they have herbal teas they have coffee they have cakes and i did try something so yeah you'll, you'll see what i tried I chose the item I bought. I asked the girl what's her favorite cookie because the cookie was $350 and she said the lavender one was good and I tried it. It was tasty and yes, it does have a little bit of lavender. So we are off to Pimentos and Pimentos is a sandwich option for you. They sell soups as well, salads and burgers. So this is another option. I have tasted their burger before. It's actually very good. 
And if you're feeling more fancy, you have something right across from Pimentos. And when I say fancy, you can dress up and actually go. There's a dining experience and it's called Steakhouse. And I see a lot of their commercials on Instagram where they do have oysters for like a thousand dollars for eight, I believe. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I'll probably put it right here. So now we are off to get some coconut water. So as you can see, they're not just a coconut shop. They sell smoothies, juices, wraps, and salad, along with a few coconut-inspired pastries. So I definitely encourage you to check them out. You can't go wrong with coconut water. Um, fresh, raw, jelly coconut water. I mean, you cannot go wrong. And try out their smoothies. Please try something different, especially for tourists and especially for locals. No, we can't do a Devon House tour without getting pastries or ice cream. So we are going to Devon House 1. And this is where they have the famous patties that we know, the curry goat patty to be specific. And this was filmed in October, so all the prices are 100% accurate. So we're off for what Devon House is really known for and it's for its ice cream that was ranked fourth in the world by National Geographic as the best ice cream in the world. And I mean by the lines, it must be true, you can't deny it. Look at the line on a Sunday and this is every Sunday, mind you. I remember once I had to turn back because I was not joining the line for love nor money for that ice cream. I am sorry. But I'm seeing here they put buses on a Sunday and it's right here. Yeah, right. That bus right there that also serves ice cream from it, which I didn't know before. If it's new, somebody tell me in the comments. I didn't know that. But Devon House is just a place of enjoyment. Somebody kept their baby shower and me with my fast self. Obviously, stand up and look and there are other persons there who didn't know these people. But we just wanted to know what the gender was. And that's Devon House for you. There's also a kiddie section where you can have your children just play. It's just a happy place. Like, it's just a vibe place where you can go by yourself and you're not alone. Uh, it's something for everyone. You can have a picnic. People just randomly talk to you. And I like to think I'm an amazing person. <laughs> I am. But seriously though, it's a great environment and everybody is just so helpful there. So now I was there on a Saturday and this is a line on a Saturday on the inside. On the outside, it was a bit better than Sunday, but still there's a line. Now I had to ask one of the staff and it's Barbara from Information. <laughs> How, what's her favorite ice cream? Ice cream, ice cream, yeah. Which ice cream flavor is your favorite? I do like um, crunchy munchy. Crunchy munchy, you know, I never had that one before. It has nuts in it? No, it's like the waffle cream. Mm -hmm. And it's like they break them up in it. So oh. it give a nice taste to it. So it has like a biscuity taste. Oh, okay. I never had that one before. I had the rum and raisin when I went back. Rum and raisin is good. Yeah, you can't go wrong with rum and raisin. No, sir. Never, mm -hmm. unless you don't like raisin. Mm -hmm. Unless you don't like yeah. raisin. That's true. I taste the real rum in there. Yeah, yeah, that's true. All right, thanks, Barbara. I'm leaving now. Yes. But thank you. You're so nice. All right. <laughs> So yes, I went with the rum and raisin because honestly, they didn't have my favorite, which is strawberry cheesecake. Yes, it's very sweet, but that's my favorite. But we'll go with the rum and raisin. Just tell me in the comments below what your favorite ice cream is. And if you ever had crunchy munchies, she said, tell me in the comments below as well. 
And with the intro, I know I said a day at Devon House. So technically it was two days. It was a Sunday and a Saturday. But I had to go back because it got dark on me. But yeah, like the video, subscribe because you know your girl had to go back and get the content for you. But tell me what you liked the most.